hello YouTube. Um, basically, everybody's been having PlayStation 3 fat overheating problems, and I'm kind of offering a new turn or new perspective on it, and that's drilling holes inside of your PlayStation 3. So, in order to explain this, I was going to show you what I'm talking about, and this right here. This is the PlayStation 3 bottom half. Obviously, it's empty inside. But what I noticed is with the PlayStation 3, air flows in through the front. And it's just this little part that it flows in through. Not this. The air does not flow in through these holes. It flows in through here. And it escapes through just this bottom half. It doesn't escape through the top half. It doesn't escape through anything up here. It's just this part and in the back, which would be roughly that much. So you have a little bit of air coming in. You have just a little bit more of air going out. So what I did is I drilled bigger holes, hoping that the airflow would come in more towards the front. With more airflow, I was hoping I could have more hot air release. So I just went crazy drilling holes, top and bottom. And because only two layers are actually having air escape, I drilled holes through here. I widened the holes down here. So I'm hoping that this will release an extra amount of hot air and I even went one step further and I went to the heat sink and I drilled just two holes right on the heat sink it sits inside the PlayStation this is the fan it sits inside the PlayStation upside down your motherboards on top so I drilled two extra holes just to help it pull in more air and help it push out a little bit more hot air that's all I did um, my PlayStation has yellowed twice now, and I'm refluxing it, I'm repasting it, I've used Arctic Silver. I'm hoping that by adding these holes, it works. Um, also I'm going to put a laptop cooling tray underneath it, it's going to sit on top of it, it's going to have three fans blowing cool air directly to it, so... I'm going to do all this tomorrow, I just got it ready tonight, so I'll post another video and hopefully hopefully it works right. I mean obviously I won't be able to tell because it usually lasts for three months, sometimes it lasts half a year, but um, if I can stay away from the third or fourth speed of the fan, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's good enough and it should work and as long as I have the uh, laptop cooling tray. Should be all set. Um, <laughs> you can say I'm crazy, but I think that by drilling these holes, it's going to help keep it cooler. So, again, all I did was I drilled in the bottom extra holes, just as many as you can get, because the fan will actually suck in the cool air. The fan will spin around, and then it pushes the air out here, and it pushes the air out here. So it sucks it in, spins it takes the hot air out, takes the hot air out. But if you take into consideration that only that much is actually pushing out cool or hot air and that only that much is actually bringing in cool air, extra holes can't hurt, especially if it's yellowed.